NOAA's Greater Farallons National Marine Sanctuary protects one of the world's most diverse and bountiful marine ecosystems. Along the sanctuary's coast, bull kelp creates vast underwater forests, sustaining an incredible abundance and variety of marine life. This vibrant ecosystem fuels coastal economies and activities like fishing, wildlife viewing, and recreation, as well as culturally important practices and resources. But in just a few short years, more than 90% of the kelp forests in Northern California have disappeared, causing devastating ecological and economic impacts. What we've seen over the years, uh, particularly in 2014, 15, and 16, was a massive marine heat wave. Um, the heat wave was happening after we had a die-off of all of our sea stars, which are important predators. So we had these multiple stressors in the kelp forest. It'd be like if I went and I walked out in the forest and there weren't trees. So instead of looking around and seeing happy deer and hearing birds, it's just gone. So it's the same as underwater. Instead of seeing the fish in every hole and the schools of blues up in the top of the kelp, it's just purple urchins everywhere. In 2018, a team of scientists, managers, and resource users teamed up to create a bull kelp recovery plan that outlines specific research, monitoring, restoration, and community engagement strategies to address the severe kelp loss off California's Sonoma and Mendocino counties. Because we knew it's vitally important if we're going to create a solution that everyone has to come together and be involved, both from an agency perspective at the state and federal level, but also from local businesses and local tribes people who know so much about our coast and who offer valuable perspective so that we make sure we're finding the right solutions. Now, we're working together to better understand kelp loss and reduce stressors to help kelp forests recover more quickly and endure long-term threats like climate change. We have a network of partners called the Kelp Ecosystem and Landscape Partnership for Research on Resilience, or KELPER for short. And it includes folks that are stakeholders, we have researchers, we have members of the community, we have nonprofits, we have for-profits. And really it's a way of looking at the comprehensive picture and how we can bring together different groups to address kelp loss. The Kelp Recovery Program is working with partners to restore kelp forests. We're mapping kelp canopy with drones to monitor the health and recovery of bull kelp forests. We're working with business ventures that are developing markets for purple urchins, an industry that would employ commercial divers to collect urchins from barrens and culture them as a quality seafood product. We're also actively investigating other restoration methods, such as outplanting. Um, we're all underfunded, we're all undermanned, uh, and so one of the things that we recognize early on to manage and monitor such a large ocean area is partnerships and collaborations are key. There's no single path to recovery, but through a foundation of partnerships, We've identified multiple actions to protect and restore kelp forests so they continue to sustain marine ecosystems and coastal economies for years to come. I'm a second generation California urchin diver. My dad's been doing it since 1980. Uh, he left Southern California to come up here for the whole gold rush of urchins. And you know, it's been a great life growing up and I'm raising my kids now and buying a home in the area. And I'd like to be able to stay here and keep doing that. And I find that really amazing and inspiring uh, just to see everyone working together and really, you know, having that level of commitment is awesome. So I have a lot of hope for kelp recovery.